Scientists have discovered a possible biological basis for visual snow syndrome in this latest brain can study. So let's talk about it. Visual snow syndrome, or VSS, is a neurological disorder that impacts your vision, hearing, cognition, sensory processing, and quality of life. People with VSS see static 24-7 and experience other debilitating visual and non-visual symptoms like after images, severe light sensitivity, ringing in the ears, anxiety, depression, derealization, and so much more, as shown on the screen. In their latest study, scientists at King's College London have made a groundbreaking discovery that revealed two important brain chemicals, serotonin and glutamate, behave differently in people with VSS compared to those without the condition. These chemicals act as messengers that help different parts of the brain communicate and function. Serotonin affects your mood, sleep, digestion, nausea, bones, and more, while glutamate affects your memory, learning, and so much more, and they can have physical and psychological effects that are necessary for healthy brain function. Therefore, abnormalities of these neurotransmitters were found in people with VSS. So how did they do this? Researchers combined data from positron emission tomography, also known as PET scans, and functional magnetic resonance imaging, also known as fMRI analysis. And here's a picture of both of them. Their analysis focused on five key brain chemicals, noradrenaline, dopamine, serotonin, glutamate, and GABA. Interestingly, research discovered that people with VSS exhibit altered behavior and reduced communication in the serotonin and glutamate networks within specific areas of the brain, which you can see here mapped out in graphical form. This research is extremely important because it has revealed new information and found a possible biological basis for visual snow syndrome, information that was ultimately unknown until now. This helps us further understand how the bodies and specifically the brains of people with VSS work differently than everyone else's. It also indicates the areas of the brain in which this is happening and which components are involved in VSS. This is a big step forward which holds immense potential for our ability to help people with VSS by sparking possible biomarkers and hope for future pharmacological treatments. This study was supported by the Visual Snow Initiative and partially funded by the National Institute for Health and Care Research, also known as NIHR, Maudsley Biomedical Research Center. Leading the study is Dr. Francesca Puletta, neurologist and distinguished researcher at the King's College London. Dr. Puletta shares her insights and sheds lights on the study's implication in her latest Visual Snow Initiative video series, and you can go check that out on our YouTube page. You can also access more information and the full study using the link in our bio and on our website. Thank you so much for listening.